special mushroom? Yes! EA Sports, in the game. I keep telling you, Mom, she's attention took a lesson from you. All she should have took I have just been everything on the page from the root of the tree. The whole thing is you didn't manage from my foot. He tucked uh, that ball away, lowered his head, got that right boom, end zone. That's why we got those two over there. Bang, 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 bang. What the hell is that? I'm going to put my friends on every possible occasion. Jake Elliott ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards.
frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and get some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. Tua setting up shot to throw again. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 42. They'll run for the first time with Roy Poster down inside the 40. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Tua. Can't get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. On first and ten, it's Moster. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. From the 30 on second down. That's caught Waddle on the left side. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. He just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. On second down, Moster. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice game downfield. A line of scrimmage once again to five as they get ready for second and goal. Looking to pass to him. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Start and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And he is going to lose yardage here. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Interesting decision. I can see if you're on the one yard line, push it in, you're at home, but I don't know from this distance. How far would you push it? Two yard line, three yard line? We're, I mean, we're we'll beyond the four. So this is what we're talking about now. This is a long way. And I know it's a disappointment to come away without getting a touchdown after that drive. But how about coming away with no points by going for it and not getting it? Bring out the field goal kicker. Get three and move on. After marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. A return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Wait, so I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of a and the Eagles come up here first and 10. 25 yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by the big tight end, Dennis Goddard. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Heck of a start, a 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Now a handoff coming left is Gamewell. Up 
for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to 29. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals. It's caught inside the 30. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Two and now on first down. Open down is Waddle complete. And he'll be right down right at the 15 yard line. A good down to possibly take a shot. And in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. After 1 7 3, the score on EA Sports. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Third and one, and two wants to throw it. Able to find Gesicki as tight end. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Here's Tua. And the stiff arm proved fruitful for a second, but the daylight quickly snubbed down. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the far line. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tua finding his old Alabama teammate, Jalen Waddle. And the Dolphins are able to move back in front. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, I give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just run. There he goes, right side. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, he didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. Now, 
after the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 75 yards. And the Dolphins have yet again retaken the lead. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man, one play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs at a first down. Here's Hurts to throw. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far as his guys have now moved out in front. Well, C.D., that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Elliott good with a PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Charles, this offense, they've been on a roll. Two drives ago, they scored. Remember, last drive was that one play touchdown strike, so now they're looking to make it three for three. You know, I talked to a Hall of Famer one time about, hey, when you're on defense and these types of things are happening to you, 
What goes through your mind? And he told me at that point, it's not about schemes. It's not about what's called from the sideline. It's about players. Who's going to make a play, make a stand, and stop this offense from doing what they've been doing? Two is throws taken in by Waddle. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From midfield, here's two. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles' defense gets a pick six TD. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only did they get the interception, add a nice return on top of it, all the way to the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play. He gets the points. But it really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time in the film room. It translated into a big play that put points on the board for their team. Elliott on for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Okay, ready? The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. From the 41, Tua, throw left side complete. That's Hill. Tua to Tyreek for the Miami first. They fake the handoff, now Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it'll be second down. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball, and keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they can do their damage a different way, break a few tackles and really scatter some people, can't they? Sliding out of the pocket. They'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again, they will throw it with Tungabailoa. And he's got his tight end, it's Mike Gesicki. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six go. just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have, have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. And all it'll be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. 